I built this solar station 10 years ago, and it's covered with these cheap mirrors which are about 100 times cheaper than these mirrors of large solar power plants. My solar station has one big problem that was solved by these experiments two years ago. In addition, a few months ago I made new experiments which will be described in this video. I'm trying to emulate these expensive mirror dishes which focus solar radiation into a similar point where high temperatures can be created. Now I'm showing how my old mirror dish focused solar radiation into this spot where I will place this piece of newspaper. We understand that this newspaper should be replaced by a receiver like this and now we will see here that the solar radiation hits this black surface to 400 degrees Celsius which will hit some liquid that should circulate through this input and output. A few months ago I made this new type of mirror dish that physicists might call a Fresnel mirror. These seven mirrors do not form a single curved surface and therefore some people will think that it is not able to focus, but now we will see that those seven mirrors focus the solar radiation into this spot. A little later that spot will burn a hole in the screen and set fire to the wooden parts. Our mirror dishes should form such long rows of up to several dozen dishes in a row, and each of these parts should be a mirror dish. Now I will show you how our rows will work, using the example of this short row of three mirror dishes which create these three spots of solar radiation. With some effort you can see the rays which form those spots. Now I will show you an important experiment, and this is the vastest line. It is morning, and these are the time points of one day, the 21st of October, and we see that these three spots move as a result of the movement of the sun across the sky from morning to evening. This is the same screen, but the next day and yesterday this mirror focused solar radiation into this spot which burns these traces every 30 minutes during 4 hours. Therefore we understand that these three mirror dishes should have three such receivers which should be able to move in this way, and this is our position in the morning, and this is the moment of the receivers until the evening. This is another option for installing the receivers with the possibility of their movement. It is interesting that the rows of my solar station focused the solar radiation in a different way into this line, and this my old video explained for a long time why it would be better to replace this solar line with this row of solar points. I used my solar station for space heating this house in winter and heating water of this pool in summer in the climate of central Ukraine, but the station could also be used to produce electricity. Many of us may think that here we should install a turbine, which will rotate an electric generator, but this is a bad idea and we have to use another method, which is used by solar power plants of this type. When the sun appears, its radiation is focused by these mirrors and heats thermal oil inside this receiver to temperatures of almost 400 degrees. This hot thermal oil will produce steam for the turbine and heat thousands of tons of molten salt inside these tanks to temperatures of almost 400 degrees. A few hours later, in the evening or at night, this hot molten salt will produce steam for the same turbine, and this production of electricity at any time is a big advantage for our solar panels, which can only work when the sun is shining. Investors have already built more than 100 similar power plants with a total cost of approximately 40 billion dollars. Their mirrors should rotate during the day, while the mirrors of my solar station are motionless from morning to evening, because their rows are located along this west-east line. My mirror structures are about 20 times cheaper than these mirror systems, and my targets are described by this formula that leads us to this cost of our solar thermal energy, about half a cent per kilowatt hour, which is almost 10 times cheaper than the cost of heat from natural gas.
It is obvious that this pipe is a pass for the movement of thermal oil with a temperature of approximately 300 degrees Celsius. The hot thermal oil circulates between the rows of receivers and the center of the power plant where the oil heats hundreds of thousands of tons of concrete, sand or other materials which are several dozen times cheaper than that molten salt. Dozens of different types of these cheap storages were described in this my old video, and they can store heat to generate electricity during several cloudy days in a row. Another my old video described heat storages made from millions of tons of soil, which are heated in the summer to use the heat to produce electricity in the winter. So, let's analyze the feasibility of achieving these targets, which lead to this cheap solar heat for the production of electricity, which is cheaper than electricity from thermal and nuclear power plants. My solar station used these mirrors, which consist of a sheet of cheap expanded polystyrene and mylar film with a thickness of 20 microns and a cost of 25 cents per square meter, and here we see the lines of glue. These are my new mirrors, and they are the same, but narrower. These are the two narrow mirrors are mounted on these wooden ribs, which form the desired shape of our mirrors. In addition, the ribs have to withstand strong winds, while my solar station solves the problem of wind resistance a little differently. We see that the rows consist of sheets of expanded polystyrene, which will be where the thin mirrors will be installed, and here we see ribs. These are the materials for making one long mirror with an area of one square meter, but we have to add other production costs and the cost of installing the mirrors. The reflective film of my mirrors was short-lived, and now we see how it became unusable after one or two years in the climate of central Ukraine, but more expensive reflective films can increase the lifespan of mirrors several times. Now I am showing you how I replaced the mirrors on my solar station, and we see that the mirrors were fixed with cheap polyurethane foam, but it is obvious that these replacements can be mechanized. This is another method of replacing mirrors, where one person can install several hundred mirrors per hour, and here we see that the mirror is fixed with one point of polyurethane foam. Now I am showing a new method of the replacements for mirrors with ribs, but the area of the mirrors will be several times larger, and therefore two people can install about 300 square meters of mirrors per hour. It is interesting that replacing millions of square meters of mirrors requires a small factory on the territory of our solar station. The factory should recycle old mirrors and separate them from these ribs, which will be reused to produce new mirrors in the same factory, and this is my short plan to achieve the cost we need for replacing mirrors. We see that the mirrors are lying on this lower beam, but we also have to install this upper beam. This is a metal bracket for fixing one of the ends of the upper beam, and here we see empty spaces for the ribs of the adjacent mirror dish, because our mirror dishes must form long rows. Now I am quickly showing the installation of the upper beam. In addition, the position of each mirror is fixed by this pin. This one pin is enough, and here you will not see a pin, because it is unnecessary, and here the pins are also missing. You see that these beams are curved, as a result of which their cost can be high, and therefore I experimented with similar straight beams. This is the first option, where half of the ribs of the mirrors lie on this straight beam, and the second half of the ribs rest on these parts, to give the mirrors the required angles of inclination. These are the two upper beams, which are also straight, and one of their ends is fixed with this metal bracket. This is the second option, where those ribs rest on these rods, which have different heights for the required angles of inclination of the mirror. Now I am showing how I changed the vertical angle of the mirrors on my solar station, and we will have to do similar operation approximately 10 times a year. 
It is easy to calculate that 1 million square meters of mirrors will annually require 3,000 hours of a person whose salary results in our annual expenses of about 10 cents per square meter of mirror. An alternative to changing the angle of mirrors is to change the position of receivers in a similar way. I have not washed the mirrors of my cell station because they have a short lifespan. Moreover, washing can damage the thin reflective layer of my mirrors. But perhaps gentle washing will increase the new heat production of our mirrors, because rain and snow are not able to remove absolutely all dirt from their surface.